Welcome to this Spring Tutorial from In 28 Minutes. Before we look into the specific topic at hand, let's get an overview of what we are trying to do at In 28 Minutes to make learning Spring easy. We have a repository on Git, github.com slash In 28 Minutes, Spring In 28 Minutes. The link you would find below the video where we have all the code examples that we are going to discuss now. All those are present in the Git repository. So if you go to spring in 28 minutes, there are a lot of example Maven projects which would help you learn spring very easily. We start with simple examples and discuss things like JDBC, aspect oriented programming, MVC and all that kind of stuff. You should find examples in here. If you go further down, you should also see how you can install these examples which are used in this particular tutorial. So you can click this link, takes you to a video which shows how you can install all the code that you would need to be able to run all the examples that we would discuss now. Let's now get started with the specific topic of this particular video. In this video, let's understanding the auto wiring concept in Spring in detail. To understand auto wiring in detail, we would also need to understand dependency injection. So we would start off with dependency injection and then we try to understand how auto wiring really works. We try to understand the basics of auto wiring and then we would move on to the types of auto wiring like setters, get constructors and also by using reflection. So how auto wiring is done, what are the different ways in which you can do auto wiring in spring. The specific class which we would be using in this particular example is dependency injection examples which is in the project one basic example. At in 28 minutes we really focus on creating tutorials with hands-on examples. So we do a little bit of setup before we do get into the real concept. So have a little bit of patience and let's get started. Let's now quickly write a good morning service to understand dependency injection. What you can focus now is to understand the concept of dependency injection. We would actually set the whole thing up. We will set the complete example up step by step in the next sections. For now, just focus on watching and trying to understand what we are doing in here. What we have right now is we have a good morning service class. The good morning service class has a method called say hi, which returns good morning. So that's simple. It returns good morning and I want to print that good morning in here. So in this particular example thing, I have a, inst I have a variable for the good morning service. So good morning service, service. Typically what we would do is we would say good morning service service is equal to new good morning service and we can now run the test. Let's say right click run as JUnit test. So as you can see it prints good morning. So what we are doing is we are calling that particular method so it prints good morning. For the dependency injection examples this service this good morning service is a dependency. I don't want this dependency to be created by me. So I don't want to create this dependency. I want to let Spring handle that particular dependency. Okay, so what I'm basically saying is I don't want to really create this, but I would want to let Spring create it and give it to me. So how do I make it happen? That's where the beauty of the Spring IOC container comes in. So Spring IOC container, IOC stands for inversion of control. So Spring inversion of control container takes care of creating the beans that are needed. So what is the bean that I need? I need a service. So I would want to be able to create this service bean and I would want to be able to use it in this particular example. So we need to tell two things. One is we need to tell Spring to create an instance of this service bean. So I would need to tell create a good morning service. That's the first step, right? I mean, first thing we would need to be able to do is Spring has to create a good morning service. First step. The second step that Spring needs to do is to give that good morning service to dependency injection example. So it needs to bring that created good morning service and it should be able to give it to the service. So Spring 
needs to give the dependency injection examples class the good morning service, the created good morning service. I'm taking it a little slow. Uh, if you are a beginner, I guess uh, it would be good to really go slow with Spring because this is the most important concept that you would need to understand. So there are two steps, right? I mean, we want to create the good morning service. So Spring creates a good morning service. It's not sufficient if it creates it, but I would also need to take that good morning service and give it to the dependency injection examples class. And I would need to be able to put it in here. So when I do this, actually good morning service myself, we are doing two things, right? First is we are creating a new good morning service. That's one. The other thing is we are creating the good morning service and assigning it to the service variable in here. Thereby from here, we can do a service dot say hi. So Spring needs to do those two things for us. So the Spring IOC container manages the beans. So the beans in here are the service. So service is the bean. So what the Spring IOC container needs to do, it needs to manage the service bean. So it needs to create the service bean. It needs to be able to provide it to the dependency injection examples. And once the example is complete, it needs to be able to destroy it completely. So all those things are handled by the Spring inversion of control container. Now, how does the magic of Spring happen? So how do I create, how do I tell Spring create a good morning service? How do I tell Spring to create a good morning service? The way you do that is very simple. So I would want this particular class instance of this particular class to be managed by Spring. So what I need to do is to put something called a component. So at component, at component. And if you press control space, then it brings up the uh, suggestions. From there, I would pick up the right one. And you'd see that now this is a component. So by at component, we are saying Spring, you are going to handle this dependency. So you're going to take this dependency and use it. So that's basically what we are telling Spring in here. So we are saying good morning service is a component, is a object which is maintained or which is managed by the Spring IOC container. So now the good morning service is a component. Is that sufficient? If, what would happen if I run this program? Taking a little while, but you would see it's a null pointer exception. So still, the service variable is still null. And that's why this is throwing a null pointer exception. Now, the first step is done. So the first step, how did we do it? We used an add component. So add component is the magic. So add component is done. So now the second thing is we need to be able to tell Spring or we need to be able to inject the service object which was created in here into this. How do we do that? And that's where the magic of auto wiring comes in. So I would say auto wired. And once I say auto wired, what Spring does is it takes this bean and injects it in here. So this is the second step. So we need to provide the dependency injection examples with a instance of this service. And that's how do we tell Spring that we need that it's by using the at auto wired annotation. So the two important annotations are at component at component defines a bean. So I'm saying this is a bean which would be managed by spring at auto wired is the annotation which says this class needs the service. So spring you find the right bean for this particular service and you inject it in. So let's run this. And there you go. So it's printing good morning. That's perfect. That's exactly what we would want. So now we are not really creating new good morning. So we are not doing that. What we are letting Spring do is to create it for us and give it in here. So without us creating an instance of the good morning service, we are able to use it and get it working. The next question we would want to answer is how does Spring do the matching? So we said this is a component and this is at auto wired. 
So how does spring match this bean to this? How does it know that this instance of this bean is the one which should be mapped in here? The first thing spring looks for is the class. So if you look at this particular thing, this is of class good morning service. And this also is using the same class good morning service. So what it does spring is when it loads up, it would load this add component in. So this is a component. It doesn't have any dependencies. So it loads it in and creates an instance of this. So it creates an instance of this particular good morning service. When it's trying to load this particular dependency injection examples, it sees that it needs, it says auto wired. So what is it saying? Auto wired. What is auto wired is with good morning service. So it sees, it searches through the list of components it already has to see if there is one which is of this particular class. Yes, it finds the one which is created and it would auto wire it in here. That's one way it does it. So by class. The other way it does it is by interface. So let's quickly implement an interface. So let's say this implements a high service. So, and I will create a high service as well. It will create an interface high service. I would want to directly create it in here. So I'm creating an interface high service and the high service interface, I would want it to have the method the high service has method say hi, it's an interface and the good morning service. Uh, now let's change this. Uh, like since it's an implementation of the service, I would add IMPL. So good morning service IMPL implements high service. And here I am doing a good morning implementation service. So now it's of the same class again. So if I run this example, it will run because there is no, there's not a big change that we have done. We implemented a service and there you go. It works fine. But the most important thing is now I can replace the instance by a interface as well. So I'm saying this high service, uh, I'm saying uh, there is an implementation of high service. So go and find it. So what would happen when Spring starts loading this is it first loads up the good morning service IMPL because this is defined as add component. So this good morning service IMPL has a name. I mean, it belongs to class good morning service IMPL, but it also belongs. It's also an implementation of the high service implementation. When Spring sees this at auto wired, what it says is it searches. So first high service is an interface. So it will start Spring will start looking for implementations of this high service. So it will find this good morning service implementation, which matches it and thereby it would match and it would be able to run with it. So if I do a run as JUnit test, there you go. You'd see that this thing works. So the good morning service does work. So even when you use an interface, the auto wiring works. The way it works is Spring tries and finds the implementations of those interfaces. This good morning service IMPL is implementing this high service. So it really works. That's perfect. Now, what if there are two components of the same thing? So if let's say there is a good morning service IMPL and I'm creating a good night service IMPL. So I'm creating a good night service IMPL, which which is good night. What would happen now? Aha, spring throws an exception. What does it say? It's saying I'm looking for single matching bean, but it is finding two. So what it's saying is I'm trying to auto wire. So what it's trying to say here is I'm trying to find one matching bean, but actually I've found two. I find a good morning service IMPL component and a good night service IMPL. So I'm finding a good night and a good morning. Both of these are having the, both of these are matching it properly. What should I do? I don't know what to do. And that's why it throws an exception. How do we resolve this? That's what we would be looking at next. We wanted to auto wire this interface in, but since there were two implementations of this particular interface, a good night service and a good morning service, we failed. Spring said, I am trying to find one matching bean, but you gave me two. How do we resolve it? I mean, the 
layman way of doing it would be to use the class, but that would defeat the purpose of using an interface. So I would not suggest that. So we want to use the interface itself and we want to do it properly. So one way you can do that is to rename this particular service to the name of the class. So I want to use good night service IMPL. So I would name it a proper variable and say good night service IMPL. You'd see that it would start printing good night. If I run this now, okay. So there you see, you see good night. So what Spring does is it checks, okay, good night. The name of the instance is good night service IMPL. The, it should be an implementation of high service. And is there something with name good night service IMPL? Yeah, it needs, it finds this. So it is able to auto wire that in as well. So one way to do that is this. Are there any other ways? The other way to do it by using an at qualifier. So I can say a qualifier giving the name of the bean. So I would want to wire in for this particular dependency example, I would want to wire in good night service. So I would say at qualifier value is equal to good night service IMPL. Yeah, with a small g because it's an object that we are want to want to wire. So now you'd see that the good night service is auto wired in. If you want to auto wire the good morning service, you could have said something like value is equal to good morning service IMPL. And there you go. You see good morning printed in here. So those are the ways that you can solve this problem. So you have more than multiple implementations of the interface present and you would want to auto wire a specific implementation of the interface, then you can auto wire it in this particular way. There are other ways you can do it is by putting this in a package and this one, you can put the good night service in a different package and the good morning service in a different package and we can do component scan only on the specific package that we would want to auto wire into. We'll discuss that at a little later stage in this particular course. The objective of this section was to get you familiar with things like dependency injection, auto wiring, component scan. We tried to play around with hands-on examples to try and get you to think in the lines of the Spring framework. I hope it was interesting. Hope you had a good time learning Spring in this particular tutorial. You will find more examples about dependency injection, inversion of control, Spring modules, JDBC, aspect-oriented programming, MVC, and a lot of that kind of examples on our Git repository, as well as links to a number of video tutorials. You'd find a list of more than 10 videos which you can look at to understand Spring even more on the GitHub repository. What's stopping you? Just go down there, look at all the examples and become an expert on Spring. And by the way, do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.